What's going on guys, it's me the real Mossy with another Sony Vegas tutorial for you. This time we're going to take a very quick look at basic animation, so let's get started. It's actually pretty simple to do. So let's say you have a text event here and you want to animate it. All you have to do is right click it and go to event pan crop. When this window opens, focus your attention on this area here. Make sure position is highlighted. This is the timeline you'll use to animate the text or whatever you happen to be animating. Click on the timeline at the specific time you want to add your first manipulation. I'll start off from the very beginning of the text event. There's already a point there. Once you establish a point on the timeline and have it selected, any manipulation you do to the text applies to it at that particular point in the timeline. So now that I have my first point selected, I'll start manipulating the text at that point. I'm going to zoom right into it and tilt it a little bit at this point. When you're happy with the first point, go ahead and add a second point of manipulation on the timeline and manipulate the text the way you want it to look at this point. The more points of manipulation you have and the closer they are on the timeline, the more fluid the animation will look. You'll notice that in my animation, the points are about a quarter of a second apart. So I have four points per second. If I went in there and added four more points, I'd have finer control. In order to add more points of animation per second, you'll need to zoom into the timeline. You can do this by clicking the little plus button or scrolling up with your mouse wheel. You'll notice that when I click the plus button, the resolution of the timeline becomes finer. I used to have only 4 ticks between 0 and 1 second. Now I have 29 ticks, one for each frame. If you want the most precise positioning, you can go as far as adding a point for every frame. So if your video runs at 29 frames per second, you'll have 29 points in one second. But for basic animation of text, this won't be necessary. Keep adding more points and manipulating the text or graphic until you're satisfied. Here's a RAM preview of the finished text animation. If you don't know what a RAM preview is, check out the link to the last tutorial I did. It'll be at the end of this video. Alright, so that was just a basic animation tutorial that focuses on movement only. But in Sony Vegas, you can animate many other parameters, including the font, placement, properties, effects, etc. I'll use color as an example. Animating color is slightly different from animating movement, but it's just as easy. To animate the color of the text, Right click the text event and select edit generated media. Then go to the properties tab. You'll notice this button on the bottom here that says animate. Click it and it'll expand the window to give you a timeline similar to the one we worked on before. From here you just do the exact same thing as before, but this time manipulating the color at each point rather than the position. And likewise you can animate the font, the effects and anything else that has a little animate button available. Here's the final product with the position and color animations applied. Well that's it guys, here's the code of the week. I hope this video has given you some insight on basic animation. Have fun experimenting with this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, I'm the Real Mossy, tell your friends about me.